think that it just struck me and a number of other people in the ANC, loyal members like myself, loyal cadres of our movement, that as a nation, we've actually become the frog in the pot. We tolerance level for what is wrong. You know, you, you tolerate it, you live with it, you forgive it. And I think that as a nation, we've done that. But it just occurred to me when I watched Parliament, a deep sadness just overcame me because I couldn't believe that this is what our parliament has been reduced to. And the people who set the tone in that parliament has got to be the ANC and it's got to be the president. And if I think of how many times the president has been the subject of huge controversy, and it just shocks me that we have reached a point where the courts must serially tell us and our president that where we are wrong. It's just shocking that as the ANC, we are the moral custodians of the freedom of our country and of our constitution. And why we have to wait for a court to tell us, and then we still want to duck and dive the issue. And I think that the time has just come for us to say that the tasks facing our country are so enormous. The global context in which we operate economically and whatever requires that we can't waste time on these kinds of issues in Parliament. The President apologised on Friday. He said he was sorry and we should forgive him. Iman, I don't think uh, it's even about an apology. The President said it was poor judgment on his past. I can just think of the top of my head with that rape trial and that what I still think is an unforgivable sexual encounter, whether it was rape or whether it wasn't rape, I'm not going to debate that. But for a man of his age to go and sleep with a child of a friend of yours, that was also poor judgment. Whether you did or you didn't use a condom was poor judgment. Your relationship and engagement with Shabir Sheikh for which he was convicted, sorry, it was poor judgment. And when we think back, as I say, it's that frog in the pot thing, that we spent so much time defending the president, trying to justify or trying to understand what the president, whether he did something wrong and he's just human and we are all human. Well, I just think that I would like my organization to be able to lead on the kinds of challenges that face us in this country. And we can't do it because we all become tainted. That we start, we've eroded our own moral authority to do what needs to be done to narrow inequality, to deal with poverty and to position our country globally competitively as, as an economy. With all of the examples that you mentioned, uh, the, the other controversies that the president has been embroiled in um, leading up until this point, is that part of also, also part of the reason why you're speaking now, that you don't want to be judged harshly in history? Yes, I, I do feel that, Iman, what has happened here, we can all stand and point fingers. I'm not going to leave the ANC. This is my organization. I fought for it, I fought in it, and I will continue to do that. And I, what has happened here, the kind of erosion of moral authority of my organization has happened on my watch. And that is why I think many of us in the ANC are starting to say, it is time for us to reassert the fact that things are either right or things are wrong. It's not about whether they're illegal, or whether they are, there's some technicality with which you can get away with. That is just nonsense. We need to lead with the authority that our leaders before us have got. And finally, what about your, your former colleagues, and in fact, your comrades inside the ANC? And just yesterday, South African society had a demonstration of their loyalties in parliament, voting overwhelmingly for the president to stay, voting against impeachment. Well, man, I think, you know, the parliamentary politics has become one where you will not associate, you will, if you're an ANC person, you're supposed to not associate yourself with what the opposition is saying. I, don't, I think part of the indictment is that censure of the president should never even have come to the point of going to the Constitutional Court or indeed to Parliament. Mm -hmm. The ANC should have recognized that what had happened at Nkandla was wrong and should have corrected it. I mean, how on earth we accept that the president goes home very regularly and he sees what's being built. How do you not see that what is being built there is not what you are paying for? And it's about just going back to basics and saying what is right and what is wrong. And that's what we're asking our president to do. And that's why I'm saying to Mr. President, 
I do not want to go through the technical process of whether we impeach you, whether we remove you. We're asking you to just do the right thing and to step aside. Just go. Please recognize that you have made this organization spend so much time, this country spend so much time, debating about technically whether you are right or wrong. And Until that problem. point, and if he doesn't, what will you do? I, I think I read a quote somewhere, uh, you know, how can you vote ANC while Zuma is still president? Will the party still have your loyalty if he is president in an election? Iman, and, and that for me has also been the, 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 the question I've been grappling with since yesterday. It's just saying, you know, there's just never been any debate for me. I can just say I can never, even now, not vote for anybody other than for the ANC. But the question I ask myself is, can I do this when the, f the person whose face I have to put my cross next to with joy and with confidence and hope, if that face represents so much ambiguity, it's a difficult one. And that is why I'm saying the president must not put me or other South Africans in that kind of position. Just please do the right thing and step aside and allow the organization to pay attention to the important crises that face unemployed people, that face poor people, that face people in jobs who are about to lose their jobs. Let, let, just step aside. I don't want to spend the rest of this year since this parliament, most of the time has actually been spent on having to debate whether the president has or hasn't done what the constitution requires of him to do.